Hi guys, Ben here looking ahead to Sevilla versus Liverpool. It's a game in which if we win, we can advance to the last 16 of the Champions League, which if you'd have told me before the draw was made that we'd be qualifying with a game to spare on a bit in your hand off, it's been an easy group, to be honest, even though we've dropped some silly points. But we're still in a position where we can qualify with consummate ease. And it's, it's not going to be easy in Seville. They're a team that have got a great home record. They're a team that have got a good record against us in recent years, of course, with the uh, Europa League final and snatching a point at Anfield a few weeks ago. But I think we've got enough about us to go out there and get a result, even if we don't necessarily win a point there, it'd be absolutely fine. It would still put us in control of the group as far as winning it's concerned. Whether winning it is as much of an advantage as it was a few years ago, I don't know. But let's go out there and get a good result. We've got a almost a fully fit squad now, now that Lallana's back, Coutinho and Mane are back firing. Obviously still missing Klein and one or two others are not quite there. But, uh, you know, we're just as well equipped to win this game as we ever have been. Uh, in the last few weeks, I mean, the, the form we've shown as of late, clean sheets, goals, you know, Salah absolutely firing, the top scorer in the Premier League, um, he's, he's been smashing in the Champions League as well, so we've got no reason to believe we cannot go out there and win away from home, something we did in Maribor, something we should have done in Moscow, we've got a point there, we're unbeaten in Europe, and yes, it's been a topsy-turvy season, yes, we've taken some hammerings at, you know, big sides like City and Spurs and Sevilla, kind of, you know, can be at a level close to that on their day. I don't think they're anywhere near Man City, but they're not far off Spurs, I suppose, um, in terms of being the home ground being absolutely fortress and being a, a force in Europe. Um, so it is going to be tough in that regard. But as I say, we're in good form and high on confidence for the first time this season, really, probably, in terms of, you know, four back-to-back -back wins and real belief, momentum and no concerns, no transfer windows distracting us now, we can just get on with it and I, I'm feeling relatively good, whether we can go out there and win it's a big ask, I think they're unbeaten at home this season and they have got a lot of quality throughout their side, especially in attacking areas um, so that does concern me, I mean they, they did show some signs, even if they were quite conservative at Anfield last time they did have one or two moments, especially in the second half they could have gone on and won it in the end, uh, just whether they went they, whether they go for it enough tomorrow. Um, if you look at our starting lineup, of course, Karras is going to come in, but the changes other than that aren't, I think they're going to be many. Perhaps Gomez will come in. I mean, there is five days between uh, this game and the Chelsea game. It's Tuesday to Saturday. It's like four days. So, you know, we don't have to worry too much about fitness. So, Gomez might come in even if he is going to start against the Blues, but I think, you know, Lovren, Clavin, Moreno will all keep their place. Midfield, we might change one. I think Ronaldo maybe might get a rest. I think we might go for Henderson, Chan, Coutinho. Maybe even Milner, Chan, Coutinho. But I'll go Henderson, Chan, Coutinho. And then, of course, uh, the, the front three, the lethal front three. Even if Firmino's not scoring many goals, he's still part of that lethal front three. It's Salah, Mane, Firmino. Predictions? You struggle to see us not scoring, but Sevilla are a force. I think a draw might be right here. I think one apiece. It's probably fair. I, I, I do think we're the best side, um, but I don't think we're going to be too discontent with a point. So going there, maybe scoring early and you know, having the mentality of we'd love to win and secure the passage into the last 16, but a point would be fine. We're still very, very hot favourites to win the group. Um, so you know, I don't think a point would be a disaster. If we find ourselves at one apiece or something on 70 minutes, I think We'll, we'll, we'll sit back and we'll take that. I think Sevilla will kind of rely on us to beat Moscow next week to secure their qualification as well, as long as they can do the business against Maribor. So I think both sides would somewhat take a point. I think Sevilla need the win more desperately than us. But let's see how we get on. I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing into this one. I'm not going to be too upset either way. I know it's a tough place to go, and I know we can just beat Sparta and Moscow and qualify. So if we do go out there and get beat, as long as we give a good account of ourselves, as long as we don't get any injuries, as long as we're, we do okay, as long as we carry on the momentum in terms of performance level, then fine. Don't want any defensive howlers from Dan Lovren or anything like that. I don't want to be too harsh on Lovren. I know some of you thought in my player ratings the other day I was too harsh on Lovren, and that's fair enough. But I don't want him to make any mistakes that's going to damage his confidence because, yes, the performance on Saturday was better. And, you know, a clean sheet is always going to be good for someone so low on confidence and so out of form as he has been so far this season. So a clean sheet for him and Clavin will do the both, and both the world of good going into a tough game on Saturday. Whether Matt is back for that, I don't know. So. It, it's all eyes on Saturday, really, but let's get through this one with a decent performance, hopefully a decent result, hopefully a win and a qualification into the last 16. And we'll talk about it after the game. I'm going to everyone that's out there. Enjoy yourselves. Um, stay safe. See everyone at Anfield on Saturday. 
Until then, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.